so we're here to talk poodles and there's nowhere better to come. Mel, what was the poodle initially bred for? They are a water retrieving dog. Um, they originated in Germany. A lot of people think poodles French, but they are in fact from Germany. But Mike, there are three different sizes? Well, yeah, there are in the UK. There's four um, in Europe. Uh, and Well, FCI countries, not just Europe. But in this country, we're best talking about it, we've got standards, the big ones, miniatures, the medium-sized ones, and toys, the small ones. The whole idea is to breed like a toy that looks like a small miniature or a very small standard. You should be able to scale a toy up to a standard, standard. and a standard up to a, uh, down to a toy. But there is evidence to suggest that the standards arrived in a slightly different route than the miniatures and the toys. In the show ring nowadays, you know, you've got quite elegant looking dogs with shaved parts and lots of coat elsewhere. Has that developed from something else? Well, of course, the styles have changed over the years. I mean, they have to do because you can't have the coat that you had back in, say, 1950. I mean, that's just ridiculous. What you think is a lot of coat now is half the coat that was shown in in the 50s and 60s. Yeah. But what are the origins of the trim? The, the continental trim, for instance, has that stemmed from something? Yeah, I mean, when they were water retrieving, that trim was the ideal trim to be in because the, the palms on the bottoms of the legs and the palms on the sides here, they protect the joints right. and on the tail as well stick the tail up out of the water and you could identify your own dog because they used to put ribbons on as well right, okay. and I assume the body hair was protecting, protecting major organs. the heart the lungs yeah. the ribs everything while we were on coat there's some suggestion that the breeder has a hypoallergenic coat Mike is there any truth there? yeah completely I mean what's bizarre is that um, a lot of the crossbreeds, you know, it's become fashionable, particularly Labradoodles. I mean, they, they market them as being uh, hypoallergenic like a poodle, when in actual fact, they rarely are. Well, the coat's wool. It's not like a normal dog breed coat. As a breed in the show ring, toys, miniatures and standards all seem to have more success than just about any other breed. What do you put that down to, Mike? Well, interestingly, you, get, you put your hands on them I think most people are surprised that you've got a really solid dog, even the toys. You can get put your hands on these dogs, whatever, any of the sizes, and find a really well-built, well-constructed dog. They have a natural... We breed for carriage. We want this drama. We want them to hold the head eye and walk like they were in a, a catwalk model. You know, it's attitude. And I think it makes them very eye-catching in the ring when you actually achieve that. Uh, a couple of years ago, the Kennel Club relaxed some rules, so you can now show a poodle in any trim, is that right? You, you can to a degree. They've got to have, you know, enough hair on them to be, you know, presentable in yeah. the ring. And also you need enough coat so that you can feel the coat texture. Yeah. We still breed to a breed standard, which calls for, a, um, you know, a, quite a coarse water-resistant coat. So e even in a been... shorter trim, you get enough, you know, enough top knot enough on the legs, they can look really glamorous. You get such an elegant shape to them as well. Yeah. But you've got to have other dog underneath as well to yeah. do that with. Yeah, absolutely. And all breeders are breeding for carriage and that, that charisma, that attitude. But tell us a bit more about their, their temperament. What are they like? Poodles are show-offs. They like to be on the end of the lead and they like to strut around. They are absolute show-offs. They're supposed to be happy. You want no timid poodles, outgoing love life, love people, love everything kind of dog. They should be clowns, but there is a slight difference in the three varieties. I always think that standard poodles are like having a pal. It's, it's a, like having another person around the house. Yeah. So they really are. You've got and to yeah, have a standard. Yeah. <laughs> and the miniatures and the toys are kind of funny. They make you laugh all the time. You know, yeah. they're, all, they're, all, they're like mischievous little clowns that are always up to no good, No really. good, yes, absolutely. So. <laughs> and they're very intelligent. You can do agility yeah. with them. You can, you can work them. And the other thing, which we never mentioned as well, which I think is important, they really don't smell, do they? No, they don't it, smell. They sound all. like they tick all the boxes. Fun, dope shedding, hypoallergenic. You've got three different sizes to pick from. Well, the, the, the thing that sort of spoils them slightly is that they're called poodles. Like, there are people who wouldn't have a poodle, but who would actually love poodles. As a pet, what's the sort of maintenance like? You know, it, it wouldn't be too hard for anybody to have, you know, a pet poodle knocking around. 
month, I'd say go to the groomers every six to eight weeks just to keep them fresh. It's when they start changing coats, that's when they, they get knotted because they don't shed. And just sit there watching TV at night with a brush, dog led on your knee, just give them a quick brush along, they'll be fine. And if you want to go walking, even the toys, you, you know, you can't just suddenly decide one day if you've got a toy that only ever goes for a walk around the block that you're going to take them 20 miles. But even the toys, if you build them up to it, they're, they've got a lot, you know, they're tough little dogs. There's nothing flimsy or pathetic about them. They're just such a fun dog to have around, and I, I have one of each size. I love them. If anybody said you can only keep one breed, it would be cool.